It's 2021, and robotic missions are exploring the surface of Mars in readiness for a future human colonization. On Earth, the MIMRI project has created a scenario for robotics to work in a similar chain of command out at sea, conducting inspect and repair missions to offshore wind farms. This is a vital undertaking. The future scale-up of operations, pushing into even deeper waters, will only be feasible with the help of robots for maintenance and repair. From 2019 to 2021, a consortium of leading academics and technology developers were convened by the Offshore Renewable Energy Catapult to work on the MIMRI scenario. The primary objective of MIMRI is to improve efficiencies and reduce cost of operation and maintenance of wind turbine blades overall, but it'll also reduce the amount of time where we're sending technicians offshore into hazardous environments, reducing the requirement for manned vessels and also reducing turbine downtime. The most significant achievement of my work in MIMRI has been to demonstrate that AI planning technology can underpin the autonomous behaviour of a team of robots in achieving a common goal uh, in sophisticated missions in extreme environments. In MIMRI, we use a symbolic planner uh, to generate uh, the plans that the different robots execute, and we use ROS uh, as the interface between the software and the hardware layers. But my personal work package that I've been involved in is developing a novel moving wind turbine blade inspection system. That has a potential to be disruptive because it involves surveying a wind turbine, imaging a wind turbine, crucially without shutting it down. So we've shown it's feasible and we've shown that the technology works. MIMRI collaborated with another Innovate UK project supported by ORE Catapult and led by Bladebug Limited. This saw the world's first blade walk by an inspect and repair robot. The Royal College of Arts Robotics Laboratory created a repair arm that enables the blade crawler to clean and resurface damaged blades. Wutsano applied bio-nanotechnology approaches to create an electronic skin for the blade crawler that allows it to sense the blade surfaces and transmit data back to the MIMRI system. The Universities of Bristol and Manchester designed a drone capable of taking instruction from the MIMRI system, transporting blade crawlers and depositing them safely on dizzying vertical surfaces. ORE Catapult's roadmap for robotics estimates that individual robotics will be working at offshore wind farms by the end of the decade. Semi-autonomous versions of MIMRI will be possible by the mid-2030s. By 2050, a plant of the future using a fully autonomous MIMRI scenario will be possible. The technologies and software developed under the MIMRI project can be adapted to a variety of extreme environments here on Earth. For operations within nuclear power stations, defence and the oil and gas sector, to name but a few. A future where humans work together with robots will transform how we tackle some of the most dangerous settings. With humans in the control seats and robotics taking on the risky work, Earth can follow space for smarter and safer deployment of humans that supports our planet's net-zero future. <laughs>